تصور؟ التصاميم اللي انتم شايفينها تحت في المناظير والايمجز المناظير اللي بتوضح كل الاحتمالات للالوان المختلفه. ما موافقين عليه؟ فيش تغيير فيش شيء؟ خلص الحمد لله رب العالمين. امضوا عليه امضوا عليه امضوا عليه امضوا عليه مشان يتم اعتماده. Thank you. بداية نشكر رئيس مجلس كرة والعكب الحج سامي صادق. ثانيا نشكر مؤسسة الإعمار اللي أعطتنا الأمل في إن نعود على أرضنا ونسكن في بيوتنا. بشكر فريق المهندسين وكل من ساهم في عمل بناء هاي البيوت. للمترجمين ولكل المصورين لستيف شكرا لكم The part that I really liked was um, waking up in the morning and walking to the mirror and our shared thought that we could do this we could we could give the families the design that they wanted at the size of home that they needed making sure that it's a fully functioning, stable, well-designed, earthquake-safe house that meets their needs for three bedrooms and at the size that they absolutely required. So that was for me, like, I could see, I could see the evening was going to be okay. I think we've fulfilled our mission of delivering three houses that can be built uh, for the budget, or for perhaps a budget plus a, a little bit of an increase in financing. Uh, we have created the beginnings of a village plan that can help direct how, uh, how the uh, municipality will grow over time. Um, we did not explore alternative designs and construction, which is something that we would have preferred to do because partly because of the time constraint and uh, partly because of the need to uh, create the housing with certainty of budget and certainty of, um, uh, of constructability. But uh, if there's something that we could, if there's a departure point, it would be, I think, to focus on how we can build more resilient and sustainable buildings, not just housing, but buildings, and perhaps use El Aqaba as a model for that uh, resilience and sustainability. So the charrette gave us this moving target. It, 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 you know, the, the press of what families needed and wanted, and then the architect designing beautiful homes that would be beyond anybody's ability to afford. Another metric, another requirement that we not build beyond the family's means, that we not stretch them too far and even if they were willing to stretch further, investors would be taking the risk if the homes are demolished again. So we can't push too far be behind this, be be too far out of our envelope. Um, so what was that about? Rebuilding Alliance came to the project with an analysis of what families earn. Here we have the first three families, a bus driver, a man who herds sheep, has a, a good herd of sheep, and a teacher and his wife who's learning to be a teacher too, so possible two-income family, but still really modest incomes. You know, the, the total number of people in the family is relatively high. They need three bedrooms, and that was very clear in the charrette. I think that was one of the most tense moments of, of the whole eight, 
day process when the family said, not good enough. And the architects and the engineers had, and, and we had to really put our heads together to figure out how we're going to get to the solution. So what's the solution? It ends up being a $30,000 home. 20000 coming from mortgage 15 and 5 for, for loan. Uh, sorry, mortgage 15 and 5 for the grant. The other 10, though, um, the village has done something really remarkable, something that not the World Bank, not the IMF, not the American Overseas Private Investment Corporation, none of them have done this important step, which is to create a cooperative housing agency for returning families. It's, it, in effect, it's its own bank. And from that, from family contributions over the past two years, the village will put in 3,000 Jordanian dinar, approximately $5,000. So now we're taking that 20,000 to 25,000. How do we get it to 30? Well, the village has a backhoe. Um, so they will dig their own foundation. And then the villagers are willing to paint. They'll paint the outside and the inside, and they'll bring all the cousins together to do it. So that certainly took off another $1,800. We're very, very close. I think uh, you will come very soon to visit al Aqaba and to build the houses because we want to return uh, 700 uh, people here. I think we will uh, come uh, very quickly to visit al Aqaba and to build, to build the school and the houses and uh, everything uh, in this village because all the time the people here, uh, he want to peace, he want to live with, with peace.